Now students, let us move on with the story, The Clockwork Mouse. As we have learned that uh, Jimmy's mother, she had discarded, uh, she had decided to discard the uh, long forgotten uh, clockwork mouse um, and since she found no key and uh, it was dirty so she thought that it was useless of keeping it for the Oxfam that is that was the house for the needy people so there was no use of that toy so she threw it into the dustbin and the um, rubbish truck when it came it, uh, it as it was a very small toy it just slipped out from the rubbish and the crusher in the rubbish truck uh, could not crush it into the uh, uh, big ball of uh, rubbish and when the uh, rubbish truck went to the dumping ground to uh, dump out the rubbish ball uh, the crushed rubbish um, over there so the clockwork mouse was intact and um, in, in the afternoon uh, same day it rained and the dust and the dirt over the uh, clockwork mouse was washed away and once again it looked like uh, lifelike the real mouse and it so happened the dumping ground uh, was near to a forest and from there a uh, fox had come out to the uh, dumping ground in search of food and when it found the clockwork mouse it thought that it was a live mouse it was a real mouse and so it picked it up in its jaw and went uh, to the forest now let us move on what happens next at the edge of the field in which the rubbish was being dumped was a wood a wood means forest in amongst the trees went the fox, mouse in mouth, and then dropped it on the ground. It was a young fox, but old enough to realize that this thing that looked like a mouse did not smell or feel like one. So it played with it for a while, tossing it up in the air and then left it and padded off. Now the fox took the mouse into the forest but it though it was a young fox but uh, after some time uh, the fox realized that it was not a real mouse because it did not feel like a real mouse it did not breathe it did not uh, twitch nothing so uh, he uh, played with the mouse uh, for a time being and then it got bored it tossed it like this and um, went away from there. Hours later, a little wood mouse scuttling through the leaves came face to face with the toy. Now, as the night descended, the wood mouse, uh, the mouse, they are larger in size because they live in the uh, wilderness. So, one of the wood mouse had come out from its hole and as soon as it came out, it saw the, it faced the clockwork mouse. Coyly, she touched noses with this handsome stranger, but then her mate appeared and rushed angrily at the clockwork mouse, bowling it over and biting furiously at it. Now what happened, this was a she mouse, that wood mouse, she was a, uh, it was a uh, she mouse, so uh, she felt shy uh, to look at the new uh, companion and uh, as she was going to uh, meet the new uh, mouse, a new friend, um, her uh, friend or her uh, husband, you could say rather, uh, came out from the hole and when uh, he found that the wife was going to uh, be friend with another one, another mouse, he became very angry because uh, like um, the author is trying to say that like humans, the um, animals also feel jealousy. So the uh, male uh, wood mouse became jealous and very angrily 
he uh, rushed towards the clockwork mouse, knocked it over, uh, kicked it rather and uh, tried to uh, fight with him. Uh, at that moment, the call of an owl rang out and the wood mice vanished. Now, uh, just then, when the, he was gearing up for a fight with the clockwork mouse, just then there was a call of a call of an owl we know that owls are nocturnal animals that the nocturnal bird they uh, fly during the night and during daytime they take rest unlike the other birds so the owl was uh, in search of food and it, owl uh, hunts for the mice and uh, smaller creatures like that. So, as soon as these wood mice heard the voice of the uh, owl, they vanished from there. Seconds later, the owl came swooping low on silent wings and seeing a motionless mouse, snatched it up and flew off with it. As soon as the wood mice vanished into their hole, the owl uh, swooped down. Swooped down means coming uh, down uh, in a very great speed and uh, with silent wings because if the owl had um, come out for hunting and if it made a lot of noise then the prey was going to run away. So it was very silent. And it came down towards the clockwork mouse, finding it very motionless. Then there was no um, uh, scampering or running away. So it just snatched it from the ground, thinking it at, uh, as the live mouse, the real mouse, the owl picked it up in its beak and flew off with it. The three hungry owlets waiting in their nest in a hollow tree opened their beaks wide as they saw their mother approach. Now the owl had uh, come out for hunting due to her hungry children. Three owlets. Owlets are baby owls. Uh, owlets are the babies of owl. So three uh, hungry owlets were waiting uh, in the nest and this uh, mother owl took the mouse uh, in its beak to feed them. And they were waiting and they opened. As soon as they saw their mother bringing some food for them, these three owlets just opened their beak wide to eat the food. Uh, uh, carrying food but then they hissed angrily when they found they could not eat the strange hard object she had brought. So she tossed it out of the nest hole and flew off again. Now as soon as she dropped the mouse in the nest and uh, the owlet started to nibble on it, they uh, as soon as they started to uh, try to nibble on it, they um, made, an, made an angry sound. Why? Because they could not uh, bite or they could not tear the flesh from this strange hard object. As it was not a live mouse, it was a toy. So it was looking like a live mouse because of its appearance but actually it was hard from inside. So the owlets, they did not get their food. So they, they could not satisfy their hunger. So they made an angry sound. Then the mother owl also found that it was useless. Uh, that thing which she had brought for uh, food for, their, for her children to feed, that was useless. So she also angrily tossed it out from the uh, nest hole. And again she went out. Uh, flying to search for uh, another uh, object for food for her children.